Okay, this will be a short video. Let's get back upon the Normandy. A new message waiting for me. Isn't that right, Kelly? Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. It could happen to you. Alcos mail routing. Routing. A trail lay in the ocean dying from something. Had a dream, the Kentler came to him. The drills of the town, he asked, ah, Why was this one abandoned? You were never abandoned. The syndrome was cured. You follow the light of the Kentlers and Kindlers. It can happen to you. Where the Kentlers go, we shall follow. Send this message to six beings of your acquaintance. acquaintance. And your greatest wish shall come true. So this is another one of those uh, scam, spam, hoax uh, mails you get in real life. Shaman. I hate these things, but you need to hear this. You're part of Grunt's Krant. <coughs> and you're his leader, so keep him alive. Here, I have to stay polite, play the role, but our people are dying. Krogan have always valued survival of our tradition. If you're going to survive as people, we need your vet ground grunt. Okia was a madman, but he was a madman with a plan, and that's more than a ball rock. So bring him back from your damn mission. My people need him. And if you all get killed, I'll piss on your graves. Fair enough. Update on the kit. Just want to let you know that the drill kit's doing okay. Everything's taken care of legally. He's doing some work for me, helping me deal with some trash in the wards. Maybe make life better for some of the kids, like Mouse. Not perfect, but then what is? Don't know if your drill and mine are talking. I told him life was sh too short not to, but I don't know if it took. Good luck. Good luck. Look out there, baby. Hmm. Okay. So much for this. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? Nah. That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. Give me stuff. Oh baby, I hear you. It's really expensive. But I think I'm going to get it anyway. Man, why do I have so... Oh. Why do I always need more money here. This is nothing. And we're broke. But hey, we finally fully upgraded a weapon. Oh, shotgun damage. Yes, please. Shotgun shield piercing. Definitely. Yeah. Man. It wasn't enough for the full bar of one um, resource was completely used for one upgrade. I don't know how I'm supposed to uh, 
research all that stuff. Maybe I'm not supposed to research everything. I don't know. Still hard to believe Malin betrayed me. Betrayed my work. Disgusted by his actions. Proud of his nerve, though. Almost thought he lacked backbone. Shame I had to kill him. Might have made a good member of the team. Willing to get his hands dirty. What about Malin's data on the genophage? His attempts at a cure? What about it? Have it over there somewhere. I'm not dealing with it now. Need to focus on collectors. Not important now, regardless. Appreciate you helping me back to Junka. Should get back to work. Wasted enough time already. Lots to do. Talk later. Sure thing. <laughs> um... Yeah, maybe we should speak with the drill no also. Jacob and Morton, none. Um, Thane. Holster your weapon, yeah, you really don't really need it usually. Since he grabs his weapon automatically if he's in a combat zone. And if I press H now, nothing happens, so... Yeah, it's not that useful. I... Uh, when I played KOTOR, you could swing your lightsaber by uh, press repeatedly pressing the uh, button to hold the, the weapon. That was kind of fun. I used to do it a lot just for the fun of it. Access to the AI core is restricted. Oh man, we I think we have something for him now here. Commander, those provisions you provided were perfect. I owe you. I've already thrown together some of my calamari gumbo. Here, try a bite. Black. I'm told it's based on an Asari recipe. Seems a little cannibalistic to me with their tentacle heads and all, but they ain't no good grub. Anyway, thanks again. You really came through. Huh. Some experience for that. And of course, I want to hear what my favorite couple has to say, too. Yeah, I guess she doesn't have anything new. Uh, oh yeah, we can talk with... Rupert, something different with tonight's mail. Seems like you put in more food and less ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, keep talking. <laughs> That's actually not a bad... Uh, yeah, I gotta remember that. Shepard, need me for something? <laughs> Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Sedonis. Whatever happens with the Collectors or the Reapers or whoever else comes after us, I know you'll get the job done. I couldn't do this without you, Garrus. Sure you could. Not as stylishly, of course. It's strange going into a suicide mission on a human ship. Your people don't prepare for high-risk operations the way Turians do. I thought you'd be used to high-risk operations on human ships. I mean, think about tracking Saren to Ilos. Sure, but that was quick. We raced out, landed, blew up some geth, and saved the galaxy. This time we've got Miranda and Cerberus and that AI all telling us what we're up against. I think I prefer blind optimism. Honestly, Garrett, what do you think our chances are? Honestly, the Collectors killed you once and all they did is piss you off. I can't imagine they'll stop you this time. But, an unmapped area, advanced technology and the Collectors. We're going to lose people, no way around that. Not a happy analysis, I know. Don't worry, I won't spread it around. And I'm with you regardless. 
Do you ever regret leaving CSEC or the Turian military? Not for a minute. When it comes down to it, Shepard, I don't think I'm a very good Turian. When a good Turian hears a bad order, he follows it. He might complain, but he knows his place. I just don't see the point in staying quiet and polite. Not when the galaxy is at stake. How do Turian crews get ready for high-risk missions? With violence, usually. Turian ships have more operational discipline than your alliance, but fewer personal restrictions. Our commanders run us tight, and they know we need to blow off steam. Turian ships have training rooms for exercise, combat sims, even full contact sparring. Whatever lets people work off stress. You mean Turian ships have crewmen fighting each other before a mission? It's supervised, of course. Nobody's going to risk an injury that interferes with the mission, and it's a good way to settle grudges amicably. I remember right before one mission, we were about to hit a Batarian pirate squad. Very risky. This recon scout and I had been at each other's throats. Nerves, mostly. She suggested we settle it in the ring. I assume you took her down gently? Actually, she and I were the top-ranked hand-to-hand -hand specialists on the ship. I had reach, but she had flexibility. It was brutal. After nine rounds, the judge called it a draw. There were a lot of unhappy betters in the training room. We uh, ended up holding a tiebreaker in her quarters. I had reach, but she had flexibility. More than one way to work off stress, I guess. How do Turian crews get With ready violence, to use our command Turian ships yeah. have training rooms for exercise, combat yeah, well. sims, even full right. contact. Thanks for the talk, sure thing. Yeah, I just saw it. Um, hmm. Maybe that last empty spot was reserved for uh, Rex. <coughs> because, as I've mentioned before, um, we cannot take any possible love interest from the first part into our group. So... Oh, hang on a second. I will go to the captain's cabin first. Uh, I'm assuming, since we can take Garrus and we can take Tally, though, I'm assuming that um, that place might have been for Rex. I'm not sure about it, though. Maybe something else would have happened if he survived. Look at that. Sovereign. Impressive. Anyway, I have to go. There uh, is uh, the error in a cube. No, it's a frame. And yeah, see ya.